Okay. Okay, so we um, we will look at the marketing mix today. So you've not done the marketing mix before? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Can you can you not speak up a little bit or just move it about so we can hear uh, the proper voice? I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything now. Before it was good. Are you able to hear me? Uh, your voice is very dim. I, okay, maybe you need to move a little bit around uh, to see the signals or the, the um, movement of your uh, mobile or laptop, whatever you're sitting on. And I can't uh, hear anything. Anyway, so to, yes, now it's much better. Now it's excited. It is very good. Now it's very nice and very loud, clear, clear right? Okay. So where are you going now? Yes. Now it's, um, are you able to settle down? Yes. Sir. <laughs> All right. Now it's better. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, so can you see the, um, the PowerPoint? Can you see? The yes. Sir. Okay. Good. Good. Um, so we're going to look at the uh, the marketing mix today. All right. The, uh, the level four diploma in uh, business management. Uh, course there are uh, six learning outcomes to this module so it's a little bit bigger than usual uh, and then the final um, on assessment um, assignment assignment discussion there so there will be seven uh, sessions okay uh, each session will be an hour's uh, duration so the your last session will be on uh, august the 9th okay um, so today we're going to be looking at the the lo1 uh, understanding the role of uh, the product or uh, service in the marketing mix. And today is uh, Tuesday, which is the, uh, is it 25th of July, 2023? Okay, is that right? So you've not done marketing before, have you? Yes. You haven't done it before. Hello? Hello, yes, sir. Yes, have you done marketing before or have you heard the... Uh, the no, sir. No. Have you not uh, heard the term marketing mix in your previous studies or nothing like this? Uh, no, sir. No. All right. Okay. So let's look at the um, the marketing. Okay. So the first um, learning or outcome is uh, marketing mix. Okay. So the marketing mix, why, the, why is it called marketing mix? What's the unit um, aim? We need to look at the um, understanding of marketing and marketing mix and the role of the seven aspects of the marketing mix uh, to a business. Okay, and this is what we're going to study. Now, what is a, what is a marketing mix? Uh, marketing mix is a, a combination of um, four elements, usually four elements, which is called the product, price, promotion, and uh, place. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to know. Marketing mix is the um, combination or is the four um, elements that's called product price promotion and place right and uh, why is it important uh, it's important because um, in order to sell products or in order to um, take care of uh, a product uh, in order to do something about the product you need to look at um, the market or a service and we need to use these four elements to sell these products in the market, okay? And this is a term which uh, describes um, um, how these elements can meet the marketing objective of any organization, right? So when we look at the marketing uh, elements, when we look at the marketing mix, it's um, it's a subject or it's, um, it's something that offers you to make your customer um, what they want and how, uh, we can promote our products, what's the um, profile of a product and how we can use marketing uh, to attract new customers, okay? And the fourth piece is, is a, a mix of marketing mix which uses uh, these terms, which uses these terms to promote its business, okay? So this is, um, now let's look at the definition of marketing mix. Now there are many definitions of marketing uh, mix there is no one single uh, definition of a market mix which fits the bill okay marketing mix um, for example 
one definition of marketing mix is it's a process uh, responsible for identifying, anticipating, and satisfying customer requirements profitably. Now, if you look at um, if these elements, what is, um, you know, what's the marketing process which is responsible for identifying, anticipating, and satisfying customer requirements profitably? I don't know. Okay, so, but this is uh, one of the definitions of the uh, marketing mix. Another way we look at it, it's a process. Okay, marketing mix is a process of assessing uh, needs and requirements of customers and accordingly uh, design the products um, and service, right? When you look at the marketing mix, you look at the customer's needs, what they want, and you design the products according to customer's needs and what they want, okay? That's uh, a marketing mix, uh, okay? Um, or uh, if you look at another way, uh, the organization needs to find out what the customer wants and create product services according to the match of those um, requirements. So there's no concrete definition of marketing mix, all right? So when we look at the marketing uh, mix, there is no one definition. Um, what it is, uh, it's uh, based on marketing mix is based on um, a marketing system, okay? It's based on a marketing system whereby sellers, uh, you know, whereby the sellers, for example, i.e. the manufacturers or um, people who make goods and services in the industry, they communicate with their um, buyers, i.e. they talk to their buyers, they talk to consumers, what they want. And uh, in, in return, consumers give them some kind of information as to what they want. Is that right in your case? Yes, so you ask, yeah, so you ask the customers, so the people who manufacture goods and services, they refer to their customers, they ask their buyers, what would you like to buy, for example, what would you like to pay for this product, what type of um, design uh, would satisfy your needs, what elements of, um, you know, uh, advertising would you like to have so the people who want to buy these products they inform the industry that this is what we like this is how much we can pay this is what we like in the products and this is how you should advertise our products this is how where we're going to get it from this is how you can deliver to us i.e all elements of the marketing mix okay so what the customer um, uh, wants it depends on the industry's um, information okay in return the industry gives them goods and services and the people give them money if you look at this chart okay the simple marketing mix is very simple so the industry talks to the buyers, buyers give them the information, and then buyer buy those goods and services from this industry, and they pay in return, they pay money to the customer, to the um, industry or to the sellers or to the manufacturers, they produce those goods and flog it onto the market, okay? So this is how the system works, okay? This is the marketing, uh, how simple marketing system works. Okay, so the marketing mix, if this is an element, let's look at marketing mix in another um, way. Um, it's a set of controllable variables that an organization can use in order to best meet its customer needs and ensure that an organization is successful in the market in which it serves, okay? Inverted commas, this one here, okay? So it's a, it's a controllable variable, i.e. people, manufacturers or sellers can control those elements, can control the price, can control the um, distribution channel, can control the uh, product, can design the product, can um, choose where they want to sell, where they want to buy, how much to charge, how much not to charge. So it's a control where a controllable variable in order to meet a customer's needs. No, customer's needs are, uh, you know, what people want in the market, okay? And they tell the market uh, place what they want. So this is a marketing mix, okay? It contains, uh, as we can say, four elements of the marketing mix, product, price, promotion, and place. And in that, um, in this diagram, the target market is in the middle. So this is the market we are referring to when we are looking at the market, okay? Now, marketing product, what's a product? You know what product is? Any idea what's product? Now, product, uh, is, yes, sir. what is a product? Can you just tell me? Which fulfill our needs, like cloths, Right. Okay. These are products. Okay. So a product is uh, which materials are as well. Materials. Okay. So for example, um, 
Um, there are a lot of, as marketing mix, there are a lot of definitions of product. What is a product? Okay. A product is something you can see. Product is something you can touch, you can taste, you can feel, you can, um, you know, um, pick up and uh, deliver, for example. Yeah. So, yes, uh, or there is a, you know, there are lots of definitions as uh, there are products. So the product is something which is physical, something which is uh, a physical um, being. Uh, it's something which satisfies your needs. It satisfies the elements of a customer's needs, right? So there is no yeah. one, uh, uh, there's no one concrete definition of a product either, right? So BPP, one definition they give is a product is a something which satisfies a set of wants that customers have, okay? Uh, Kotler, a management um, in marketing management, Kotler is a writer on the marketing, and he says the product is a bundle of physical service and uh, symbolic particulars designed to deliver satisfaction, Okay. So product can be many things, right? It can be um, uh, touchable and it can not be a touchable, i.e. it can be tangible and it's not in uh, tangible, i.e. it's invisible. You understand? A product is, um, for example, uh, it looks like uh, how it's performing, how what's the price, what's the design. Uh, you can touch, you can feel, you can taste, for example. Uh, tomato soup, for example, that's a product, isn't it? Or uh, cigarettes, for example, you dealing in uh, uh, ghee elements, right? Cooking oil, for example, and yes. you can uh, you can feel the the product, you can see the the product, you can touch the product, you can um, see it's good or bad. Yeah, you can see the color, you can see the design of this, and so on. So that's a product. Okay. On the other hand, it's uh, intangible, i.e., there is no. Um, there is no image for it, okay? For example, what is a service? I don't know what's a service. There is no image for the service, is it? Banking service, can you see service? No, sir. No, but it's still a product. It's still a service, but it's intangible. You can't touch it, you can't taste it, but we can still feel, we can still uh, see we are getting value for it, okay? So product has many uh, many um, attributes, um, a tangible and intangible uh, elements. Um, so for example, one uh, product is a, a T-shirt, for example, or a health and fitness club, for example, or a car, or for example, or a health um, product, or um, aeroplane, or any desk, for example, or chair, or, you know, house or and you know uh, fruit all these are products aren't they extending the product mix okay so there are um, when you extend the product mix you can uh, design the products different style you can uh, design the products in the quality you can change the price you can uh, develop new products you can develop um, new elements you can uh, do whatever you want with the product um, as long as it satisfies particular need okay so let's uh, let's look at 1.1 in particular what are the features and benefits of product or service that are used in the marketing mix okay so let's look at some um, products once we have talked about the uh, four P's, product, price, promotion, and this is we're going to build upon. So the product, uh, a marketing mix, uh, when we look at the product, it can be a brand of products. For example, Nike is a brand, yes? Okay, Nike is a brand, yes. for example, or um, um, Dalda, for example, uh, is a product, cooking oil, Pakwan is a product, right? Um, what's your name of the product? What product uh, do you deal with? Um, may yeah. I ask? Shama. 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 Shama cooking oil, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's a product. Uh, um, so this is a, a brand uh, brand name for the particular... Yes, um, Yes, this is a brand name of your particular uh, oil, yes? Brand. Yes. Okay, so um, how, do you, how do you define a brand? What do you think brand is? Because you're dealing with product. The, product. That is manufactured through a process. No, no, no. And that's manufacturing process is different. Branding, what we call Shama. I don't know Shama. Shama is a brand. Because okay. of, because of Dalda, quality. Yeah, Dalda is a brand. Another product, um, what's it called? Another product, You can you name me another product in the oil uh, market? Uh, Dalda, Sufi. Shama, sorry? Sufi. Sufi oil, right? So these are yeah. all uh, different brands, right? Yes, sir. So what is a brand, for example? 
what do you think a brand is? You see, everybody... it gives us quality and uh -huh. people. Okay. People are, people are satisfied from the right and okay. having a trust on their product. Okay. So when we talk about a brand, what we mean by brand, maybe it's a sign. You know, it's a, yeah. a sign of a quality. Maybe it's a kind of a picture. Maybe it's kind of a logo. Maybe it's kind of a name. Correct? Yeah. Like we have a Corolla, Toyota Corollas. You see the symbol Toyota? Yes. P? Yes. P? And Mercedes, you have a Mercedes, a, a round circle and three stars in the middle. And people don't yeah. even need to know what it is, but they will recognize this is a Mercedes, right? Yeah. So this is a kind of um, a, a brand uh, image. This is a brand image, okay? So the brand image can be a logo, can be a um, uh, quality, it can be a trust, it can be uh, a name, it can be a picture, it can be, um, you know, um, what you call it, um, trust, right? It can be on a packaging and so on and so forth. So when we say uh, a brand, uh, we recognize it by, um, you know, different terms. We, we uh, refer it to by different concepts like preference, loyalty, positioning, um, logo, pricing. Yeah. So your Shama is a good quality product because it's a brand image, right? Um, mm -hmm. So this is the brand. The, the, this. So when we're talking about the marketing mix, we can uh, put the products into different types of strategies, into different types of matrix. Okay. Uh, so one of the matrix is uh, Ansoft's matrix. The Ansoft matrix is a very famous old uh, matrix. What we mean by matrix is a grid, is a t is a kind of a um, what do you call them? Um, squares, right? Or a table or um, a kind of um, graph we can put them into. Uh, so the ends of a matrix is for a two by two matrix here, which is for consisting of four uh, boxes, okay? And these four boxes are divided into existing markets here on the left into existing products or new products, okay? And then the other one is uh, new markets into existing product and new markets into new products, okay? So when we look at the marketing mix, these products can be different <coughs> different products for different people. So for example, if we're looking at the um, existing markets, what we mean by markets is your existing customers, right? Existing customers, how many customers you have, you know this, uh, your customers are permanent, this is your market. Okay, and these people will buy your product, uh, no matter what happens to the price, no matter what happens to the quality, they will buy your product because they know this quality is good, they know the price is nice, they know that they are very loyal customers, and this is called the existing markets, okay? So when we're talking about the ends of market, existing products um, into existing markets, this is known as the market penetration, all right? So existing markets, existing products go into the existing markets known as the market penetration. Uh, market penetration is one um, way uh, the industry or the um, uh, manufacturers can um, charge their um, price according to the market penetration. They can charge different prices, but they, they will go into the market um, making sure that they have existing uh, market and to existing products they can okay the other thing they can do is go to existing markets and produce new uh, products that's called the product development new product development, new design maybe new um, uh, qualities new features you know they differentiate their products for some reason okay because for example shama might uh, uh, charge um, one liter um, packaging, then they might introduce five liter packaging, then they might introduce plastic bottles, <coughs> they might uh, introduce uh, tin, um, tin, plus, uh, tin um, uh, bottles or, um, you know, different designs, in other words, for different markets. Yeah, in, yeah? is that right? Okay, yes, because you have a market, but you want to keep that market, but you try and differentiate all the time. Uh, one for family, one for single people, one for larger family, one for smaller family, 
one for mm -hmm. maybe people want to take away the, your product to uh, another uh, city and uh, because it's not available there okay so they can use this so you design different um, uh, different designs of the bottle and so on okay like a coca-cola is always designing different product but for the same market, they may be introducing new orange flavor or maybe new bottles or new, instead of um, um, glass bottle, they plastic bottle. And instead of the plastic bottle, they make bigger bottles for family size and they make a, a smaller uh, for young people who can take this into the gym and they drink Coca-Cola in the gym. Okay. So take, in other words, these very flexible and uh, very portable yeah or they can put it into the uh, uh, fridge and uh, make you know make uh, you know put something uh, or put it in the bag and take away so these type of product development then they have a new market uh, with the existing products so that's called the market development i.e you're talking about the mark not the product but the market you're talking about the whole market you are developing new market uh, trying to look at the you know different segments of the market yeah develop new market for new uh, new markets for the existing product so ishama may be looking for um, you know same um, for the same products but different market segments di different people different you understand and yes. then you have a new products into the new markets new product means completely new markets completely new products you, you might decide to go um, into sportswear for example nothing to do with the shama oil nothing to do with ghee nothing to do with oil you might introduce something uh, you know into chemical in industry or might go into sports industry but this is called the diversification okay so yes, the marketing sir. mix uh, is a mixture of uh, all these elements so you might um, look at the market penetration mean you go into the market very quickly and introduce your product very aggressively and uh, that is only you can do when you have existing markets and into existing products okay maybe you can charge different price for example or lower the price and you will keep the market or you can develop new products or you can develop new markets or you completely design new markets and new products so this is called the matrix answer matrix okay so basic uh, introduction of that uh, so what we looked at 1.1 here is the basic uh, marketing mix analyze how the features and benefits of a product are used in the marketing mix so we can use different uh, elements of um, marketing mix to capture different um, products and different um, markets okay and this one matrix it tells you this so you can use a price here market penetration you can use the price here and here you can uh, use uh, all promotion and price and product and um, uh, you know whatever you want to do completely new on one end you can use this is the market penetration is market penetration is mostly used in a price reduction or price increase or, but it's price penetration is reduction in price okay and new diversification is completely new markets and you design new products and you design uh, new um, um, elements of um, advertising or promotion completely new okay and in the middle there is a mixture of the both so you can use this marketing mix to um, what you call it, um, evaluate your market, okay, or a product, okay. So this is very basic um, introduction to the market. First of all, one point two looks at the. Uh, it says describe the product life cycle, okay, stages um, of a product life cycle. Now, product life cycle means um, uh, product life cycle means the life of a product, okay, which uh, stages. Uh, through does it go okay how yes, many sir. stages a product goes through that's known as the product life cycle like a human being you know when uh, a person uh, is uh, born or when a person is um, in the mother's uh, tummy that's development stage when a person comes out uh, no, that's where it begins its life okay birth okay and then it grows and becomes young adult 
then uh, he becomes um, uh, a mature person, then he becomes um, a little bit older, then he grows to a uh, death stage, okay? So this is the product life cycle uh, of a human being for a human life cycle. So birth, all right, development before the birth, his development, then he birth, then he matures, then he uh, grows older, maybe becomes sick, and then he dies. So that's the let life cycle of a human being. Similarly, um, life cycle of a product, i.e. the stages it goes through like a human being is known as the product life cycle, okay? And this is a uh, graph shows you there are different stages of a product uh, at which it goes through. Now here, you got one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? On the vertical side, this is a time scale. And on the horizontal is the sales, okay? Can you see this? On the horizontal, yes, on the horizontal, this shows you the time over which a product goes through different stages. And uh, through a vertical axis, it says how much sales does this product um, get? over the life cycle of different stages. So if you look at the development stage on the bottom left-hand side corner, this one here, development, it has no sales, no, uh, <clears throat> okay? It has no sales because the product is uh, being designed, because the product is in developing stage, but, right? Behind the scenes, maybe costs a lot of money, okay? Uh, it's costing a lot of money, it's costing a lot of time, and maybe it's successful, maybe it's not successful. So this is known as the development stage. And they, they are, uh, this is called the setup uh, cost. This is, you need to set up cost. You need to put money into the product and you need to spend your own money uh, because it doesn't have a sales at the moment. So the, your cash flow, your money coming in is negative. Okay, is it correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you design this product, you develop this pro product, you experiment it, you uh, test it, you check it, and you get the feedback. And if it's successful, then you launch it. If it's not successful, you do it again. You try and modify it and then launch it afterwards and test launch. Okay, so that's the kind of... Uh, so this stage is the development stage, which is doesn't give you any money, doesn't give you any revenue, cost, 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 okay? Then when you launch it, when you produce it, you want to launch it, but test it before you launch it. Okay, but you've tested it and it's very good. So that means your introduction stage. So the first stage of this product life cycle is the introduction stage. Now if you introduce this stage into the market, you go to the market, you uh, uh, send your Shama product into the market. And at this time, your sales will be low because it's a new product. Yes, the revenue mm. will be low because you are in the recover. You are only recovering little bit amount of money that you already spent developing this product for a year or for six months or for two years. Okay, you're only recovering your cost a little bit, little bit, little bit. All the negative profit will be negative. No, no revenue coming in. Okay, the sales will be low because people don't want to buy this product because it's new, they don't know. So your sales will mm. be low, right? Profits will yes, be sir. low, okay? Because you have to recover your other costs that you developed. And product maybe because product, people don't know about the product, they want to test it before they buy it. So it's a very uh, early stage, okay? So the product grows a little bit, but the market share grows. Can you see this? The market share grows steadily because new yes, product sir. people... Ah, okay, this is, happens to the product. Then when people know about this, when people uh, begin to buy it because they have confidence, this product is very good. Let's buy Shama. It's nice. Price is good. Design is good. Quality is nice. Sales people are nice, uh, like Mr. Summit. And he's a very good salesman. He gives uh, uh, people uh, kind of, uh, you know, discounts and so on and so forth. So you promote this product. And... Um, you, you understand, you advertise it, you uh, look at the four yes. P's, you look at the four P's, you pick up your uh, uh, mix, um, market mix, and you look at your distributors and uh, give them kind of promotion. So your sales increase, okay? Uh, you say, you know, when you sell one, I'll give you this bonus. When you sell two, I'll give you this. When you sell hundred, I will give you, you know, 
uh, much bonus when you sell thousand and you will in fly over the moon something like this okay so your sales will increase rapidly and this shoots up growth stay you increase your profit uh, your product is uh, entering the market but here um, you know your um, product is giving you a lot of profit now you are comfortable and your product is good in the market people know and your revenue is increasing okay you recovered all your losses so this is known as the growth stage okay then when uh, it develops, uh, continues to develop, your product continues to uh, grow in market, grow in sales, your profits increasing, and you are happy with it, and you are um, uh, giving lots of bonuses to other people, salespeople, and you're promoting a lot of business, you're um, discounting maybe uh, because your sales are increased. Now, at one stage then, uh, this product will slowly uh, grow in its sales. Now, it has... a uh, yeah, when you get to the grow maturity stage, because people know about your product and then maybe some other products come onto the market, your sales will slowly, slowly grow. Okay. And it gets onto a maturity yes. stage. Okay. Understand how to hear uh, between yes. corn and the green stage. This is known as the topmost peak uh, stage where your uh, sales still continue but level off at this point because people know about this this is the um, and you cannot um, increase your sales because you have no more market there are other products into the market people have come on to the market they have developed new um, new products maybe good quality maybe bad quality but cheaper price maybe people are switching to other products let's try dalda let's try um, sufi oil let's try um, you know, a other oil uh, products because they are cheaper in price and they are good promotion. So they will, uh, your sales will level off. Okay. Now that yes. is, um, and you can't increase any more sales. It doesn't matter whether you advertise, it doesn't matter when you sell um, your sales team to the um, regions, they will not increase their market because uh, there are other products and your sale will grow low. Okay. So that's known as the maturity stage. Okay. Then, yes. this point, uh, when, when there is no more growth, that is um, not increasing in sales, and um, the sales have uh, slowed down, it's come to a maturity stage, and also this is known as the saturation stage, because saturation means you cannot go more, you can't, your sales don't increase anything else, they, they don't increase in value, they don't increase in volume, they don't increase. So that means your product uh, will stay in the market at that level, okay? Because other products are also there, okay? This is known as the saturation, i.e. your leveled off. The market has leveled off and it try, It begins to slow down, It, uh, i.e. your profit will start to fall a little bit low, okay? Because the mat maturity yes. stage market is not growing, People may be having less income or people already know about your product, but they don't want to buy it. Uh, but you need to um, make sure you keep them. You keep your customers by offering them promotion, by offering them discount, by encouraging them to buy, buy, get one free, for example, or reduce the price or maybe increase um, a kind of uh, a kind of bonus for example if you buy this we will give you a new uh, packet of um, small oil with it for example right yeah. so you try in different ways of uh, keeping your customers but still not increasing so this is known as the market saturation the market has saturated okay and now it tries to go into uh, dip all right when it falls then your product is going to in in uh, what's it called death stage okay i.e dying stage if it's uh, trying to you're declining in sales you're declining in revenue you're declining in market share uh, because of the competition and all this so what do you do in that stage if it's if it's dying what do you do you introduce new product you maybe introduce new design, yes. you introduce new packaging. And you have to change the way. You have to change the way. Uh, you have to change yes. a little bit of the product. You have to promote the product in a different way. You maybe design the product uh, in a different, uh, to capture the same market. Okay. 
this is how you're going to uh, keep the market. Okay, so that's known as the product development. So you start again here. Okay, so when this dies goes, then the other one starts up again. So you go through the same cycle again and third product and the fourth product. Okay, and the fifth product. So every product follows the same uh, development, introduction, growth, maturity, saturation, and decl decl decline stage. Okay, every product happens that way. Okay, in the market. So you have yes. to continually uh, be stay in the market, but you have to continually grow and continually go through the product life cycle. This is known as the stages of a product life cycle. Okay, like the people uh, born. Uh, they grow, they you know mature, they die. Okay, similar with the product. So this is the product life cycle, and this is how it behaves. Okay, so you need to remember this. This is um, so when we are describing the use of marketing mix, <clears throat> you use this product life cycle to use these four P's: price, product, promotion, and place. So you can use all of them, okay, in order to stay in the market. Sometimes you will uh, change uh, the product. Sometimes you will change the place, i.e. Uh, how, how many distributors you need, who you will give the distribution to. Sometimes you will um, use the promotion, i.e. where you're going to advertise. You're going to advertise through the TV or media or electronic media or uh, through the uh, Facebook or which media. Or sometimes you promote the other things right so you can use any any of the four p's all right to uh, stay in the market okay do you understand so where do you consider yes. the following products to be in their life cycle so for example with different products here baked beans televisions newspapers um, cars mobiles every product is at different stage so for example mobile phones there are a lot of mobile phones they are all at different stages of their uh, life cycle. Some are at new stage, some are at the development stage, some are at a death stage. For example, Nokia, you know, the small Nokia has died. Nobody wants to keep this product. Okay. And I have uh, more, um, uh, you know, the uh, what touch, uh, but you have more, you know, um, I, iPhones these days. Every day, the new development of phones. Okay. One product mm -hmm. uh, goes out and the other product comes the one product dies, the new product comes. So all the time, television, yes. all the time, LCDs, all the time, uh, uh, Q mobiles, all the times, uh, new cars. So they're all different stages, okay? So they go through the same life cycle, okay? So price, when we look at the price, and uh, we what we mean by price is means different ways of charging uh, different customers different money okay so when we're talking about the price we are uh, giving a value to the product this is how much it will cost five pound for example or 500 rupees for this shama oil okay for five kilos i don't know how much uh, five uh, kilos shama oil is can you just enlighten me 25 50 how, how much is the five kilo oil uh oil is in liters sir liter yes how, how many 50. okay five kilos or five liters. 50. 2550. 2550. 25, 50, 2550. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, in, in, this is your rate or this is the market rate? This is always rate, sir. Market this rate is about 2600 to 2700. Okay. So when I go to the shop, I'll buy it 26, 2700. Yes, sir. When you depends it, on shop. Depends on the shop. Uh, when they, yes, sir. When that is put in store, so they, uh, sell them on retail price. Right. Okay. They the put retail up their... price of bottle is 2800. 2800. So they can uh, pick up 200 or 300 as they like. There is no fixed yes, margin. Sir. So yeah. there is no fixed margin. So when we are talking about the yes. price, we are talking about the cost plus profit. So cost is 24. Maybe it costs you 2000 to produce. Is that right? And you put the um, profit on top of the 2000. Correct? Yes, sir. So if your cost of production is 2000, which means uh, labor and materials and uh, wages and salaries, all this is total cost. So total cost mm. to produce the oil product is 2000. When you put the profit on top of this, maybe 10%, maybe 20%, then you 
charge the price to the retailers or to the wholesalers, okay? And this is what we say, yes. this is what we are charging price, okay? So the cost plus profit, okay? That's one way of, uh, that is one way of charging. When we are talking about the price, this is what we mean, cost plus profit. So this is cost plus, cost plus profit, okay? This is one way of charging a product. And there are many different ways of pricing. There are many different ways of calculating um, uh, profit. And one way is cost plus profit, okay? Then maybe another person who was producing similar product, he might charge marginal cost profit, okay? Because that's uh, different ways of pricing, okay? And maybe more competitive or maybe. So when we are talking about the price, we are talking about the cost plus profit, okay? When we are talking about the promotion, okay? We are talking about um, where is this product going to be sold? Okay, how is it going to be sold? Who is going to buy it? Uh, the way we are going to make this product aware, uh, whether will people, where, how do people know where this product is sold, right? So that's called the promotion. So we can use different uh, ways of uh, promoting our um, uh, business product. We can use uh, different ways. We can do it online. We can do it by television. We can do it on radio. We can do it newspapers. It depends on whether it's a national uh, newspaper or local newspaper. It depends on what a market. Is it a national market? Is it a local market? Is it a regional market? Is it a national, international market? Yeah, it depends on the, correct? So the product um, is very much important. One way uh, we can uh, create promotion is known as the ADA model, A-I-D-A. -A. Attention, interest, desire, and action, ADA, okay? Attention means you draw people's um, attention to buy your product. You create awareness, okay? You creating act, okay? You creating their, uh, you telling them, you are bringing this product to their knowledge, okay? So that customer knows this product is in the market. So let's buy it, okay? How you create attention? How maybe advertising? How you create uh, attention? Maybe through uh, promotion. How you create an attention? maybe through, I don't know, music, for example. You know, you stand in the market and you uh, beat a drum and you, uh, you know, create an awareness because of the noise or whatever. So you're creating this attention or you are creating uh, attention by way of um, putting a balloons, for example. Yeah, different ways of promoting the business. Attention, yes. in other words, promoting yes. the business. Okay, or uh, people will uh, maybe, uh, you know, do other things, okay? Attention. So this is the first thing. Attention, ADA model. So the interest is created because um, the product is there. Okay. The marketing um, is one way. Okay. Promotion is one way you create this um, um, marketing mix. So the ADA model, uh, when you create interest, when you create attention, people want to buy this product. Let's go and check it. Let's go and buy it. Let's go and test it. Okay. And it creates their desire in, in, inside them. Let's go and buy this product or let's go and see it, what it's like, okay? And once they got this interest, they might buy it, okay? And this is what's known as the ADA model. Attention, interest, desire, and action. So when you are creating attention in the market, people uh, will naturally be interested to go and see this product. And it creates an interest um, by buying this product or by desire let's buy it because the next door bought it and i want to buy it as well um, and then if they buy it then you made a sale okay that's known as the interest um, ada model okay so one way of promoting the marketing mix is ada model the other one is the place i.e where you're going to sell your product how you're going to sell the product which distribution channels you're going to use are you going to use a new uh, well-known uh, channels of distribution or you're going to use a uh, medium kind of uh, channels of uh, distribution are you going to use well-known uh, people in the market where they can stock your um, uh, products or you're going to use uh, mediocre people you know who have a small number of products and they have a small number of uh, customers uh, but this still uh, you know good channel cheaper Okay, so channel of distribution is the way 
you're going to sell your activities the way you, you're going to sell your product to other people okay this is so it depends on why you're going to use that channel is it reputable is it uh, good is it does does it have a lot of uh, market um, does it have a lot of other uh, products to sell and so on okay so you need to choose channel of distribution okay so 1.2 basically 1.2 when we are talking about here it here it says the use of marketing mix so marketing mix can be used in uh, different uh, stages of a product life cycle so you can use your uh, uh, you can use your price you can use your uh, um, promotion you can use your um, distribution channel you can use your um, place right any of those uh, mix elements to sell your product okay so this is what we're saying what four p's you can use any of those four p's to sell your products or to make people aware of this using the ada model using the life cycle model okay you can use any of them <coughs> so that will get you a pass when we use the um the customer um when we use the product life cycle um to create some kind of a lifetime value to a customer uh, this will get your merit okay if you want to go for a merit uh, but describing the four p's give you a pass extending four p's into analyzing how this can be used to create uh, a lifetime value to a customer you will be aiming for a what do you call a merit okay now how you can get a merit is you need to explain what is customer lifetime value okay clv now customer lifetime value means um, you know the average amount of money your customer will spend on buying your product over uh, a lifetime okay so for example if i was a customer of buying shama if i buy a customer if i'm a customer buying your product uh, for uh, say uh, 500 uh, rupees uh, right and i 500 rupees per month or 2000 rupees per month i buy 5 liters of oil uh, you know that will last me for uh, one month and i continue to buy your product for uh, 5 years or 10 years i multiply my um, 2000 multiply by 10 years so, okay, and that's the total customer lifetime value. Do you understand? Okay, so yes, I sir. buy I buy your product, I buy the Shama product for 2,500 pound or 2,000 rupees per month for 10 years, continuously 10 years. This is the total amount of money that I have spent over the 10 years. And this is my customer lifetime value. Okay, so my lifetime value is um, going to refer to different steps customers go through when they are considering buying using uh, your product over the life of the product okay and this is what we mean by customer lifetime value so you create this lifetime value uh, by going through different stages by uh, going through awareness engagement evaluation purchase product and support experience and bonding like, i.e staying with the uh, with the same company for many years to come so this is known as a bonding advocacy you advocate once you are bonding i.e you are a loyal customer you are sticking to your um, brand you advise other people to buy it okay and this will create um, uh, you know your um, what you call lifetime okay value okay and we can use this uh, because if i am um, using your product for many years i will tell others buy this product shama is good you know price is nice taste is good people uh, are good and they will continue your market will continue to grow okay and this is your mm. customer um, customer life cycle value right so this yes. is known as the customer lifetime clv how many times people buy your uh, product over a number of years okay if they continue to buy it you are building up your customer lifetime value and you are going through different stages of evaluating engaging people buying it advising other people to keep it and so on other people will buy this product okay so this is the stage that the customer will go through uh, when buying your product okay and that's known as the customer lifetime value if okay so that when you explain this 
you will um, when you do your assignment always uh, give your example of your products okay okay sir yeah this will give you good marks this will get you a great mark because you are already in the market you're already producing a product you already uh, know about the four p's for you already know about this um, um, good product okay so it's always uh, you have a practical example to give product uh, shama product and you can compare it with other products and you can compare it with the current products and you do use this um, advantage because you are in good advantage to use your knowledge and experience for this uh, level of uh, uh, you know analysis if you you can go for a distinction it says evaluate the role of the product or service in the market mix now you can go for a distinction rather than merit once you get through pass you try and um, write merit and also claim distinction level because you are using your product um, and evaluating the role of your product so you can compare the role of your product compared to with others is it good product is it bad how uh, how you uh, use this uh, four p's to launch your product how did you use your promotion how do you use price uh, in order to increase the sales how did you uh, use your distribution uh, people how did you use your distribution channel to uh, increase or decrease uh, customers or um, compete with the other people okay so you can explain this is how we did it this is how we did not do it this is how we passed this is how we failed okay so you can explain your role you can explain the role of the four p's when you are doing all this thing um, when we are talking about the evaluate the role of the product i.e is your product good or is it bad how good how did you use your four p's uh, in order to capture the market, in order to capture the, uh, in order to use the market, did you increase? Okay, so how, the quality of the product, promotion. I e. how did you use promotion, and how did you use the price, and how did you use the channel of distribution? So you can evaluate whether it works or whether it doesn't work for you. Okay, so this is your chance to um, use your experience to do this. Okay, so the role of product in market mix in marketing mix okay uh, so uh, you can use that four p's okay yes so you can use very easily you can use this uh, four p's in, in shamail can be used is no problem we'll get your good mark extending the four p's by another three p's which is the people process and physical evidence this is known as the seven p's okay seven p's of marketing mix it started with the four P's. Now the four P's has been extended into seven P's. Now this is the extension to the marketing mix. Okay. So you can use the three P's, which is people, process, and physical evidence. By people means the human resources. By people means the skills, the people that you use. How do you use people in order to use your marketing mix? Okay. Do you um give a uh, training to staff to sell the products do you motivate uh, your staff uh, to um promote the product right how do you promote uh, the product how do you motivate uh, people in your uh, distribution channel how do you motivate your staff to sell product how do you tell your uh, staff to communicate with people how do you deal with customers all this is a human resources okay so you can use the four p's yes. um, extend it into the people when we are talking about the people we are talking about the customers we're talking about the communication we're talking about the motivation we're talking about the training we're talking about the uh, usage of your staff to talk to other uh, people in the market okay so you can use that you can evaluate this okay and process when we're talking about the process we are talking about the systems um, that you are using uh, in order to produce your product your system that you are using is it a, a process system is it a batch system is it um, uh, a mass production is it uh, a kind of uh, a system interrelated tasks right 
Is it an open system? Is it a closed system? What type of systems do you use? Maybe you're using a um, payroll system, computer systems, right? Uh, what type of tasks, you know, what type of process? So for example, when you buy the raw materials, what process does it follow? You know, who does what? Yeah, the process, the, the steps that you're going to, the, that you use to produce that product. You know, the, the production of oil, the production of uh, packaging, the uh, production of uh, supplying materials, all these tasks are interrelated. So that will help you to achieve the marketing objectives. Okay, what's the process? All this is, and the physical evidence means um, means the um, physical uh, product which um, will produce, i.e., what type of um, uh, demonstrations, for example, what type of uh, quality of service they provide. The physical evidence, i.e., what the evidence is, what's the proof. <clears throat> that the firm can provide the services required. What's the proof that this product is good? I.e., the you know the feedback, for example, the uh, the market um, feedback, uh, communication reviews, for example, uh, or the letters that people like this product is good. Uh, uh, you understand the physical evidence uh, because your increase in market. Okay, what's the proof that your uh, product is a good quality? Who says this, okay? Who says and who says it's not good? So you need to physical evidence, i.e. the evidence in the market, the proof, the customers. You talk to the customers, you uh, review, you feedback and ask them what's your product like and they will tell you what the product is like. The price is good, product the quality is good, okay? So you can uh, have that um, extended into seven Ps, okay? So this is also market mix, okay? The influences on the market mix, there are a market mix on the uh, influences like people, like technology, like behavior, like the income, uh, like the state of the uh, economy. If people don't have the uh, uh, money, they will not buy the product. It doesn't matter cheap or it doesn't matter expensive because they don't have the income. So the state of the income is very important. The people's uh, uh, state of um, you know, um, employment is very important because if there's no jobs in the market, people we have no income and if they don't have income they won't buy the product and um, if they don't who are your people who are your customers who are going to buy the product not everybody uses oil right maybe some people use butter maybe some people use ghee maybe some people use uh, margarine maybe some people use um, other uh, kind of products okay to cook so you need to look at the other elements of the marketing mix which are influencing the market okay so you need to look at the other uh, market uh, competitors, in other words, other competition in the market, other products in the market. Um, what type of um, budgets people have their income? Do they have a good income, bad income? Have they got money in their pockets to buy the product, finances? Uh, okay, maybe technology, maybe people will buy. Uh, are they going to use the app to buy your product or going to go to the market to buy the product? Or, <clears throat> you know? That kind of influences the external influences on the market. Okay, are we okay, Mr. Sumit? Yes. Sir. Right. Okay. The importance of integrated marketing mix. So when we look at the marketing mix, we mean uh, how the four P's are used in the in in the marketing mix. One product or one element is dependent on the other. If you reduce a price it will have an effect on the sales. If we increase the price, it will have an effect on the sales. If we don't increase the promotion, it will have an effect on the product. So it's all interrelated. So you need to talk about yes. the interrelation, importance of integrated marketing. All the steps are interrelated, okay? So what we mean by four Ps or seven Ps, everything is related. When we're talking about the four Ps, it means the one element of the product uh, price promotion and place and process and pro uh, processes and people and physical evidence everything's related okay so when we're talking about the market mix everything's related and one influence the other okay uh, so this is very important when we are talking about the um, marketing mix so you can read up on the marketing mix very basic uh, stuff 
on the market on the Moodle there is some notes uh, you know you will go through this um, presentation you can have uh, some kind of um, background one good book is this Kotler basic uh, marketing management very good book you can read uh, or you can look up uh, different um, ebooks in okay yes sir. any question <clears throat> any question on the market so what we talked about today is we looked at the four p's or seven p's four elements of market uh, mix and we looked at the uh, product life cycle what is a product we we looked at what is a product um what is uh, not a product okay what's a marketing system what's uh, life stages of a product uh, what's a four p's and what's seven p's and how we can use this um, four p's and seven p's uh, into marketing mix okay uh, so today uh, is a uh, very basic to look at the role of the product or service so so the product is a sometimes physical and the service is something intangible, okay? So service is something you cannot see and taste, but you can still uh, feel the service. You can still, uh, uh, you know, feel this is a good service and this is a bad service, but it's intangible. And physical product is tangible. So you need to look at um, the distinction between a product and a service. Uh, so this is uh, what we looked at today. Um, you know, when you're talking about um, product, we can see that we talked about the Shama product, but we, uh, when we're talking about service, we're talking about any service, uh, banking service or medical service or education or your own customer service. Okay. So, um, yes, do you have any question? Anything uh, that we didn't um, cover? For no, sir. Uh, you're okay with this? Hopefully. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Yes. So, um, thank you for uh, joining uh, today's session, Mr. Sumit. Um, when thank we you. are. Uh, talking about the um, LO2, which is tomorrow, isn't it? Yes, we will have another yes, session sir. tomorrow and uh, we'll have uh, another session um, similar time tomorrow in one o'clock. One o'clock, okay? Yes. We'll be covering the LO2 and the uh, we'll continue with the marketing mix, okay? Tomorrow, two one o'clock, okay? Thank you for joining.